<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here. So, as you can see, I was busy yesterday. I got all the new dynamat done. You can see that it's all laid here. Um, I've still got a couple more patches I'll probably do after I finish the doors, but that's the inside of the trunk. And then, this is inside the cab. Went pretty well. Now, as you can see, if you look up the roof, I did the roof, and I also cocked the edge on each of them. Um, I did this project, or I'm still doing the Mitsubishi Challenger project, and we cocked the braces on top, and they it makes the roof so solid, it's ridiculous. So, we always cock the braces, and then we add the dynamat, and it makes a heck of a difference. So, from here on, probably going to throw the headliner back up, and then it's time to do each of the doors. You can see I did that one door over there. Plus, we're going to do some dynamatting on the skin that's going to go around the door to make sure that doesn't rattle. And then uh, I have to build some spacers today and mount some tweeters. So I got my day cut out for me, but we should be able to pull it all off because, I mean, the interior, putting this interior back in is like, you know, a couple, maybe five hours. I've been cutting out every single... Um, spot where I can. Uh, as you can see here, it's important when you're laying the dynamat that you're cutting out the screw holes and stuff, otherwise you'll never find them. So I've been cutting out all the screw holes I know that I use and all the pin marks. So the seats should go back in easily. But right now I'm going to focus on getting the doors done and the tweeters done. And of course the headliner back in because if there's anything I can tell you if you ever do this project, the headliner is the craziest and hardest part. It's uh, getting it actually into the car or back into the car is going to be fun. And then the really hard part was actually getting it out. But that's just because I tried it with a whole lot of stuff in here still. So hopefully with the car still completely gutted, I should be able to get the headliner back in here properly and get that mounted. All right. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates on the project.